YouTubers, how are you? How is the idea to have a 6 terabytes SSD with only $200? Well, $200 is a price of 1 terabyte SSD, a good SSD. So I have a trick for you guys using your hard drive, a 6 terabytes hard drive to transform it into a SSHD, a hybrid SSD and a hard drive. I have a Seagate iron wall of 6 terabytes and I want it guys to transform it. The trick to the idea is Intel Optane with this hard drive and I'm very curious guys I want to share this video with you for you to make this setup and uh, benefit from a very cheap alternative to storage and not only storage you will transform your hard drive into a SSD first of all it's very important that your member supports Intel Optane so Intel Optane it's not more than 50 bucks and uh, if your motherboard supports it it must support and the CPU if the CPU supports it then you will good to go and let's unseal this product this is the hard drive guys and on the market they are not more than four terabytes of SSHDs on uh, on the market I saw that Seagate this is the level this is the limit the four terabytes until now let's compare a normal Intel SSD or a Kingston a weaker SSD with uh, with the Intel obtaining the Seagate you will gain the same performance as an SSD work for accessing files this is not the same thing for copying so those users who want to copy large files from one drive to another or from uh, SSD to the uh, Intel obtain with the hard disk well skip this video this is not for you this is for users who want to access their files once in a while who are video editors why not who are programming or looking or accessing uh, their files for reading not copying all the time large files so this is a 7200 rotations per minute a 6 terabytes with 120 8 buffer so the copying on uh, this hard drive is very good for those of you who don't know the Intel of 10 is like a M2 it looks the same here I have the M2 the Intel Optane so now I'm gonna connect the hard drive and uh, just copy from it make the test back up my files because one hard drive it's enough for everything it will not help you if you copy large files because it will lose all that catch the memory catch it has a 60 giga first guys to set up intel obtain you have to do three things you have to make bios modifications and uh, you got to consult your main board uh, manual it will tell you there all you, want, all you need to know, I worked with one terabyte of storage and it worked great. It's not that one terabyte storage is not that performant like this Seagate that is six terabytes. The main idea is to make the BIOS settings, then use the Intel Optane memory application and uh, some it's a possibility to use the intel management interface component something like this but i use the intel obtain memory you can buy yourself the 32 gigabytes or the 512 gigabytes 256 gigabytes the what intel obtain do you want another catch is if you are buying the version 2 of intel obtain it will work even faster than the first version and the third thing guys is the gpt the guide part partition table to make the disk too so this format oh man look you know all the hard drives eat a lot of uh, gigabytes but I have to use, uh, it's available, allocated 5,589 gigabytes of storage. So I will partition like I want, you can partition as you want the hard drive and then I can disable the Intel Optane for, from that hard drive and very simple select this new 6 terabytes hard drive but and and if i will make for example from this capacity free drives it's not a problem the intel obtain it will work with the entire entire hard disk not only one drive 
So let's make the partition and let's install crystal disk and let's see what is uh, what our our speeds. So now we are in the Intel Optane. I select uh, the Intel Optane memory and select the hard drive and now it's enabled and accelerating your system and I got to tell you guys I made before I didn't film this but I made uh, a copying of 120 gigabytes of folder of video files and uh, I got to tell you that we had uh, fluctuations on the writing between 150 megabytes per second until 240 megabytes per second and we didn't have fluctuations for uh, the reading we had a stable reading of 250 megabytes per second so now at the crystal disk let's go and exactly the identical drive we used before the testing let's see i'm very curious of the results Whoa, for the first reading we have 929 megabytes per second. Wow, this is a mind blowing. Um, the problem is that the writing. We are interested in what thing we have and if we are going here at the end M10 it says to us that it's limited up to 150 megabytes per second but if you will buy the H10 the next version you will get the 650 megabytes per second and I think this uh, newer versions 512 it will have even more yes it will have 1300 megabytes per second this is awesome this is sick now let's make another copying and let's see actually okay we have exactly 150 megabytes per second with this intel obtained uh, at this speed for example if you have an older hard drive it will be awesome with an older hard drive you will not gain more than 110 megabytes per second so the intel obtain will accelerate more i repeat to you this is the first version of intel obtain and uh, it's a good version it's cheap it's for those of you who want to start with a computer with something and uh, i gained over you see 200 megabytes per second 243 it's uh, pushing this buffer way below the limited from the manufacturer the limitation what is interesting is that the accessing of the files is instant now this is the main reason it's uh, that buffer catch buffer that new intel obtained technology that you will access the files without thinking without having a buffer from the hard drive to the ram it's instant exactly like an ssd now let's see the reading from uh, one drive from the ssd from the hard disk to the ssd sorry so this reading i have 200 and uh, Oh, the speed, the speed is actually gone down, it's getting high already, it's stabilizing somewhere on the 200 megabytes per second, you will get even higher speed, you saw 1300 megabytes per second to the 512 uh, Intel obtained the H10. now 
I see only four terabytes, four, four, and they are not even on the market yet. It's a madness. You can expect 800 to, uh, from 800 to 1,000 dollars for a uh, uh, 16 terabytes SSD, or you can pay up to between 500 dollars until uh, 600 dollars for a SSHD. So those hybrid drives they aren't available yet with 16 terabytes of uh, storage so guys i hope this video is helpful for you i hope you like this idea i'm very anxious and i will buy myself uh, the h10 for sure this is the m10 version that i was anxious to show you and uh, why not to have a ssd for quickly accessing the informations without copying i'm repeating myself without large for those of you who makes copying no it's not a solution so this is my point guys i hope you like this video if it's helpful and you think you will do this idea please comment give us a like subscribe for the channel because we have crazy ideas for you guys helping you free support us guys thumbs up have a great day guys thank you for watching see you bye